So we're going to just configure NTP. We're going to go from the pull down in the top right to OS administration. And we're going to get a settings NTP service. The NTP is 1010.102. 10, Says not accessible, but just refresh the page. Or we'll just go to settings NTP service again. And it says it's accessible. NTP service is accessible. Let me go to the subscriber. While that web page is coming up, it's worthwhile that you you probably always want to go and configure NTP on the routers too. At this point in time, it would make sense just to have your core managers synchronized to the NTP server. And we'll address this a bit later on, but uh, we just put in the clock time zone command, summer time recurring, and NTP server command on each of the routers, and point the NTP server to obviously the uh, the same IP address 101002, which is our NTP server provided. So go, let's go to the subscriber. This is the subscriber. We go down to the uh, OS administration. While that's happening, I'm just going to SSH. onto the publisher utils ntp status utils ntp status and it's uh, synchronized to the ntp server let me now just SSH onto the subscriber. Okay, and it's synchronized here to the publisher. Okay, so that's by default. What I was going to show you here was. If I go to OS administration on the subscriber, you'll see that it's pre-configured to synchronize. The NTP service is actually pre-configured to be the publisher, and you can't actually uh, delete that. I try and add a new one, it won't let me. So the sub synchronizes with the pub, and the pub is synchronized to our external NTP server which has been provided.